Alright, let's put you up. And let's go ahead and use Hazard Stinger! Can't confuse me now, you're poisoned! And you're paralyzed! And then we have enough energies to keep on attacking for quite a while, so this is good. We set up energy retrievals. Like a Spirit Link, Beedrill! Max Motion, yes! That's definitely gonna go that, that go that route. Well, hello, little girls and the Frenchels. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, I'll be serving you Mega Beedrill. Revisit back to this very, very cool Mega Pokemon. Oh yeah, infinite, permanent, always paralysis. Each time it attacks, you cannot move, you cannot attack, you cannot retreat. 100% paralysis. Oh yeah, and you get a big 90s dose of poison too. No, wait a minute, why haven't, you know, if this card's good, why have I not been seeing it? The problem is it discards all energies when it attacks. Two energy attacks, you know, to, to required to do it, and you must discard four energies. It has to attack twice in order to get a KO. So, that's kind of expensive. Yeah, so that's why we don't really see it. However, what if we could make it cheaper? What if we could use a new card that came out so we don't have to spend as much energies to use the attack? How about just one energy instead? So this is what today's deck about. I'm going to explain to you how this Venusaur Mega Beedrill deck works in a little bit more detail, but very quickly. And you're going to see it in two. Two what? Oh yeah, two. Two. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Two awesome matches. First one, Lunala Espeon GX. You want to see how Paralysis works against that? Check that one out. And next one, Mr. Pooty Spencer was the winner of that day's giveaways uh, Twitch stream. So we got to play him, and it's an awesome match. Congratulations, Mr. Pooty Spencer, Dr. Dong. Okay, so let us get started. Uh, today's intro is Great Fairy Mountain from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is the song you hear when you're upgrading your armor. Like that chic armor or the, 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 the armor that from those little android robots. Things. Anyway, let's talk about Mega Beedrill. Mega Beedrill, let's break you down! You're a Mega Pokemon, 200 hit points. This is stage 1 GX level. Of course, you only evolve once, so you're technically a stage 1 GX. And take a look at that really cool, awesome uh, art with the stingers and the cool poisonous background here. All right, so you're a Mega Pokemon when you evolve. Your turn ends, but we gotta cheat that. We gotta use the little Mega... Uh, Beedrill Spirit Lake, where you have to equip this item, and so when you evolve, your turn doesn't end. It's an old, ancient rule. You know, Pokemon got rid of it, so we won't have to see it. We probably, I think all Mega Pokemons disappear at the August. Anyways, let's keep moving on. The big part, Hazard Stinger. What, how does this really work? You cost two Grass Energies, it does 40 damage immediately. Your opponent is paralyzed. They're also poisoned. The poison takes four times between yours and your opponent's turn and you must discard all energies by the way it has free retreat too and is weak to fire free retreat as with all mega beedrill so i like free retreat who doesn't so that's gonna come in handy so the problem is you have to discard two energies every time you attack and that means you cannot attack every single turn you have to pay one energy pay the other and then you have to do it again so you can attack every two turns that's just not gonna fly. So, back in the day, we used like tons of Mega Turbos, tons of... Basically, we just used tons of Mega Turbos. Now, we have the new Venusaur from Shining Legends. And this big ability, Jungle Total, makes every Grass Energy, two Grass Energy. Salad Master, you know, just purifying those Grass Energies for you into yummy salads. And they don't stack. Otherwise, it'd be pretty broken. So, one of these, now you can only, now you can pay the whole thing for one energy. One energy, one permanent paralysis poison attack, great. And that's how this Dell deck works. Oh, how good is this, by the way? It turns the damage. You need to attack twice with this. You have to attack twice with this, but it will get rid of anything in two attacks because that's just how the poison ticks work. Basically, uh, at the end of your turn, they'll take 80. At the end of their turn, 120. At the end of your turn again, it will total 160. So you have to use the second Hazard Stinger, uh, no matter what. Or secondary attack. So, 
right? That's how it works. There's no one shot here. Your opponent has a chance to do something about that, but that's okay. You have some little advantages that you got. So you get the max potion. It's like, oh, even though, you know, you're not supposed to be, be able to attack. They can't attack, they're para paralyzed, but once they get knocked out, there's a little loophole where they can attack. So max potion can heal off all the damage. Off Mega Beedrill, you heal off all damage and all the energies must be discarded. So only very few Pokemon are compatible with this. This is one of them. Why? Because when you discard all your energies, you just, you're not going to lose anything with a max potion. Just heal it back up, throw another energy back on, and don't worry, it's double grass energy because of Venusaur. Boom. And <laughs> that's how you kind of cheat the limit. Oh yeah, so you kind of have, like, yeah, you have extra B drills. Your B drills gonna last a long time with these max potions in there. So that's a little neat trick that we can pull because of the new Venusaur. What else? All right, I'm looking. I'm seeing. Uh, all right, I do have two two uh, special things that don't quite belong in other decks. Energy retrieval. You look for two basic grass energies from your discard pile. Put them back into your hand. I'm going with one because I just have enough energies to pull everything off. Like, I'm not going dry, so I think one is enough. It only works when there are grass energies in the discard. Which, at the start, there's not, but at the end, yeah, there's going to be plenty of grass energies in the discard. Speaking of which, we'll also be using the Super Rod. It gets back Pokemon and energies. Likely, I'll be pulling energies, but for in case something goes wrong, that I need another Venusaur back or something, we can get those back, or Beedrill, perhaps. So that's there with a little bit of extra there. Okay, so, anything else? I'm using a Skyla engine. I'm using two Skylas because I need to home into those to say a uh, rare candy or an Ultra Ball just to get my Venusaur evolution up quickly. So, I think that is it. The whole deal is to use Venusaur's ability to make your Mega B Drills attack super cheap and it's gonna paralyze and poison your opponent all day long. And that's how it works. So, now he's like, okay, Donald, show me how Mega B Drill works. Here we go. Great, awesome matches, like I said. Come right up. This is Eevee. I thought this was a Metagross deck. Hang on with that thought. So I'm gonna play my remix of this is Battle at the Summit from Pokemon Sun and Moon. Hello there, bees! Yes, I am playing bees. Okay, so I want the stuff to evolve. I'll give up my Guzma. I think I'll give it an energy. Yeah, the stuff that I want to evolve is this guy. So we'll go ahead and put it right here so we can evolve next turn. Put another bubble sword down, give you an energy, and I need more cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the end right now. See what I can get. Anything else? Oh wow, this hand is sexy. This hand is sexy. So I'm gonna hold go ahead and my turn right there. I'm very, very happy with this hand. I'm just gonna leave it be. Secret rare! Yeah! This is... What's, what's something secret rare? There's a new beat-up metal evolution. It is going to be Espeon. All right. Bubble Sword, you take the Espeon. Tank him for a bit. So I'm going to be confused, but that's okay. If I evolve, I don't have to be confused. But I don't mind. Right now, I'm good. So, he really should... You really should end me. Because I have such nice cards in my hands. Totally, totally, totally nice. So like, really? Let me check your trick stream. This is really nice. You definitely should end my hand. Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball. Best GT. Bestie GT. It's like best you did. What did you just say? Switch evil sodas. Not the Floatstone kind of guy. Cosmog. Ooh, he's playing Lunala. Alright, I'm trying to get my paralyzed Beedrill, but it has not been a paralyzed Beedrill forever. So, side beam. Oh, I'm confused. I can take a little hit. I'm okay. I'm okay, guys. So we have a rare candy, we could save it, but I'd rather not. Let's get you up right now. All right, now to fight with that. I could get you more cards, but I'm greedy, I'm not, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna discard my N and this. Get that Mega B Drill out too. Evolve without the Mega Evolution, because you are greedy as heck. Okay, you might need to fight. All right, pull an extra card out. I didn't. The V drill doesn't need the energy now, so 
All right, floatstone for you. We'll save that for next turn. Let's get the vault Volvus straight here. I could have played the end, but I'm not giving any extra cards. And we'll just have the Banana Master, you know, get a little stuck right there. So we got a floatstone. The Beedrill can go up and confront him. He does have... Uh-oh. He can, does have to divide GX, but I don't think he'll do it. Yeah, it's not that good value. Oh, you can't just hit the Beedrill with... Good. You can get some some value out there. We forgot to put Celestial on there. Nope, he is gonna GX. He's gonna completely go for that Beedrill. Sure. Ow. Of course it hurts. All right, we're gonna need that draw support that we uh greedily discarded. We got all the ends. <laughs> How much does this do? A hundred. Yep. It's going straight for the bad line, so we didn't. End. Luckily, luckily we did end. Okay, so this spirit link, nobody needs that spirit link. You can go home now. Your job's done. You could just hold on to the spirit link, just cause if you get deolution or something, I don't, which I don't think is gonna happen. Energies, yay! Hazard Stinger, take this. You're poisoned. I lose everything. So you should take 160 damage. Yeah, I'm gonna need to do that again with this here. So I'll take that. Yeah. Eat it. Uh, do we have a? Uh, we should have two more spirit links, so it's okay. I just need the extra draws. And Cosmox coming out. He's like, "Where's my draw supporter?" There it is. Well, where's my draw supporter? I need some of that stuff too. All right. So, uh, that's not gonna be a Guzma. There's Cosmo coming up to play. Kind of bad. Another Eevee coming out. I'm not gonna have any energy, so this Psychic isn't gonna hurt me that much. Yeah, we kind of want a Max Potion right now. Which, whoever it is, I like the Max Potion. Wow. Good. Good. Two Venusaurs up. All right, Banana Master, pull me two more cards, which is gonna be a draw support, all right? Right? Bingo. Bingo. We're not gonna waste. We're just gonna end right now. Enjoy the extra card pulls that we're gonna get. Got another Beedrill down. Looking good. Energies. Definitely would mind doing that afterwards. So let's do this again. We want to paralyze it again, so let's do that. Super odd. Paralyzed. And it's KO'd. All right, perfect. And it's a Spear Link. We need that. We got an Ultra Ball. This is good. Beedrill love Beedrill's life. This time around it is. So now, ah, uh, let's okay. Eevee is coming up. Eevee's gonna get the energy. He can confuse me, which I don't mind at all. I do not mind. I just don't have an energy, which is uh, now I sort of mind. So what can you do? You can confuse me. I can free retreat. I has free retreat. Evil Soda, Lunala GX can come out. Boy, can't you wait until the next expansion comes out? That didn't work. That failed. Why that fail? Okay, he's like, oh, my Lunala's in the prize card. I said, man, this looks cool, doesn't it? I like the promo art. Promo's cool. All right, so, be just, okay, so here we go. Let me breathe, let me get some water. He's gonna end away my very valuable hand, which had a lot of nice stuff in it. That means I can pull a max potion or something now. Okay. I'm confused. I need like a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna play this right here. Everything in my hand is a bit junk right now. So let's go ahead and stick more of that. Yeah, I don't, I don't need this. I need an energy to attack or to evolve my Pokemons. Like a Spirit Link, Beedrill, Max Motion, yes! That's definitely gonna go that, that, go that route. And because I can't attack, let's put an energy on. Let's put let's put energy on you, and let's mega evolve you right now. Mega evolution rule. My turn ends. You're pretty tanky, and you have a free retreat. So I'll go ahead and just leave you out there, and he knows what's coming for him. So I'll leave it right there. If he does evolve the Lunala, then maybe I'll Guzma it out, give it a little taste, a little hit, and then we'll have to see what that happens. If this deck has Sea of Nothingness, it'd be a good stadium card. Yeah, it would. Deck space totally, totally sucks right now. It totally, totally, totally sinks. All right, leaving it be. 
Ah, he said leaving a bee. Luckily, I had a free turn. Side beam. All right, we don't want to sycamore this, no matter what. Not playing before playing the super rod. So I'm definitely going to get these energies. They're valuable. I probably will get the bee drill too, because that's valuable. Otherwise, this bee drill can't be put into play. Now, if I hazard stinger this, this thing will not die, and it may just evolve next turn, so I'm not going to deal with that just yet. Let's go ahead and retreat. Free retreat. Let's go ahead and sycamore. Yeah, with, with these many, with the two Venusaurs, right? You don't need nothing else, Mr. Fan. All right, let's put you up. And let's go ahead and use hazard stinger. Can't confuse me now. You're poisoned, and you're paralyzed. And then we have enough energies to keep on attacking for quite a while, so this is good. We set up energy retrieval. This is good. It's my birthday, yeah! Happy birthday! Satoshi! And gonna ace a roll of all those cards back. Gonna send out whom though? Probably a fresh, yeah, a fresh EV. Now he could just toss it back from his hand, but he does have the energy evolution, so there's another one from his deck. I think. There we go. So, good move. Sadly. Alright, take a look at the hand here. I mean, luckily we have free retreat. We can deal with this stuff. Let's go ahead and play this, just why not? I have them in my hand. And I'm just gonna retreat. Put the energy up. Hazard Stinger! Paralyze! Play with the sky all day! No, I mean Compass birthday style. Crazy giant lightsaber is the best tech. You know, they don't have hand guards for those. Except the new bad Jedi who does have hand guards for these. So, you know, you can just slice down your hand and your hand's gone. Except, you know, this is just respectful. You don't do that in Jedi duels. It's a little bit off topic. So, I'm trying to, you know, wear this guy down. He's trying to do the same. Uh, how many counters? He's played Ace Arola so far. That's Switch. Sick boy this time. I'm gonna destroy a lot. Oh wow, my wild beware. We got a little easy this time, I think. All right, there's the beware. There's the rake it in one. You should get like a sushi master. All right, so this should be it. Uh, I should retreat to. Uh, I just need to do 40 damage. I just need to do 40 damage. You know, I have energy to spare. Let's just go ahead and retreat. We didn't need to retreat. Why did we need? Why did we retreat? I'm not sure. But I'm gonna go ahead and attack anyways. There we go. And it's paralyzed. You know, just finish it off. It could def totally retreat and escape. More energies for me. I probably have enough to last the entire game. I think so. Mainly because this thing is really efficient, so I can do that. So Cosmog's gonna come out. He's why? I guess I can teleport away. He's gonna rake it in, gonna get three more cards out. Yep. There it is. There's Lunala GX. Probably had that there. Now he needs one more energy. Super Rod. Uh, actually, he could just use Lunar Fall on Banana Master. Yeah, Banana Master is like, no. No, what are you doing? You haven't used your GX. No, you already used your GX. You used Divide GX. To do 100 damage on my Vidra, which it max potioned up. I still got another one, so this is good. So, I kind of like the Mega Venusaur better, man. Two energy is much better value than this one energy and hit and run style. Although, it's pretty much doing the same thing. So, Psychic Transfer. He is going to do what? He is going to move some energies back. Because he's not going to use the GX attack on my Banana Master. Because he can't use the GX attack on my Banana Master. He needs another energy. This is it. He's going to end. Oh, at least another... Oh, okay, you can end. I've got Banana Masters. I've got plenty of energies in my deck. I can trick my hand down a bit. We're all good. He's like, nope, I'm out of here. Go send this guy to fight instead. Psychic Psybeam. Beam. All right, so that doesn't. All right, we can retreat all day. I'm just gonna use this for the extra pull.
Retreat. I'm confused. I have free retreat. Let's poison burn you. So we gotta finish this off. It's paralyzed. He cannot move. And if it doesn't, if he doesn't have anything else, I just need one energy to finish this off. And I know there are plenty in my deck. There are plenty in the Discord now, but there are also plenty in my deck as well. So we'll probably Ultra Ball all this out here. Get a triple pull with the Banana Master. And just finish this off. Oh. Oh. He's got a counter. And we can fight with this too if we really, really want to. But now he doesn't have enough to fight. He only has two energies. Right now Lunala can't do much with that. Alright, so we don't need these cards. And we're done. We don't want to pull anything in our hand. We just want to pull an energy card so we can fight. Max Potion, Skyla. I think I already played my energy recycling stuff. So you know what? I am going to Skyla, but I'm going to Skyla for a Sycamore. Yeah, I'll let it be. End my turn right there. Alright, so he still is not taking a prize cards. I pro don't think I have enough Float Stone, so may put an energy on this just to attack with it. Can't get a one shot anyways. So, let's see what you do. Energy's going up on this. Alright, he can get three energies now and attack with G No, he can't. He's gonna pull this big guy up. And now he's gonna try to attack this out. Uh... Alright, I need my Guzma. I have very few Guzma cards. So I'm gonna be safe and just hold it right there. Yeah. Well, now he's getting me stuck because he's got all the nice, uh, all his nice cards come out. I've got another Venusaur, so I'm A okay. So he's like, yo, yeah, free attacks. See, if I stick him more, I get five cards left. So I'm kind of scared right now. I'm okay taking you that out, but I'm gonna get you when the, the things comes go, when things are uh, going. So moving three energies right here, maybe he'll start fighting with this. And oh yeah, please, please. Give me, land me the Guzma directly, or a Float Stone. Or I just need an energy card. Ooh, okay, this is okay. I can stick more with 15 cards left in my deck. So I only have seven over that. But then I won't be able to attack, though. <sighs> I only have two Float Stones. I know I only have two Float Stones, so I have to give him... I have to give him, give him some leeway for just let him do whatever he wants for now, unfortunately. That sucks. I thought I had enough energies left, but uh, apparently I don't. So I could use this for a treat or attack. Pull an extra card just cuz. It's an Ivysaur. We're just gonna Sycamore. Leave it be right there. And this gets me, hopefully, uh, there's another N. There's not nothing, and I only have six card turns to win. And I have a Guzma to help me out with that. Okay. I see how it is. Bye bye, Venusaur number one. Rescue Stretcher, Rescue Stretcher. The pressure is real. Pressure is definitely real. Alright. He has a hot. I can't heal because of his, his Moon Guy's beam. So I'll be able to retreat after this. I don't mind if you don't want to take that. I'm biased. I really like Gen 1 Pokemon. Yay! Let me wait. You're my team, right? I think so. Alright, this guy has a free energy. A free attack, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put this on you. Let's throw the max potion in. I want to draw this again. Put this right here. Hazard Stinger! Take this, you're paralyzed and poisoned. Yeah, I'm using Venusaur and Beedrill. Venusaur's Gen 1. I'm not sure if Mega Beedrill's Gen 1. I'm not really sure if Mega's or her. Back, you know, Beedrill's Gen 1, so he's been in one. So at the end of his turn, you gotta retreat. He's like, oh, I got free retreat now. I just need a goose more ace to roll it up, but I think I got this. I got, a, I got this card. Beware is charging up. Beware. This beware is good against basic, but I'm using mostly evolved Pokemon. Victory. That was all that needs to be done. Yes. 
long, long, long fight by just waiting for her opponent to be paralyzed and poisoned. So you don't actually do that much good damage. You, should, you have to take two energy discards to finish anything off. But at least paralysis is there. Alola for the win. Finally. Alright, so we're going to do the giveaway now. Welcome to another Mega Beedrio match. Today's giveaway winner is Mr. Pudis Spencer, who's got an item lock trainer deck build that he just came up with. Very interesting. Night scan. Remember what this thing did? Basically, the more trainers I have in my hand, the more I'm going to get explode and this is going to hurt. You want some extra cards? I... Uh, no. No, we're not going to do that for, to Mr. Spooty Dispenser. Of course not. Let's get started. I'm going to play my remix of This Is Honey Loon Escape from Super Mario Odyssey. So, what important cards do we need? We can win the B drill, but we can't win the Bubble Sword. That has to happen. Now, we don't need energies that, that badly. So, I'm looking forward to, you know, play these right here. I think I might open with a Skyla. Or, you know, I, just, I need a lot of cards. You know, I can afford to lose these. We need the B drill down, too. Let's do open up with Skyla. He may have a uh, tour removal. Let's see. Uh, I is there, where's that card I need? I'm gonna open it with a Spirit Link. I'm not gonna drop it down just yet. Because I want to be able to play a supporter that turn. I probably could have played Ender Sycamore or anything else. But I'm just gonna hold on to that, see if he ends me. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, but I don't have an end. I have Shana, Acerola, and oh, Acerola. And no, no, knocked out, knocked out break. Oh man, this was. I wish this, maybe this is playable. Maybe he found a way to do this. Night scan. The more every item, every trainer actually is 30 more damage. It's kind of like what the, the the Tremnant does right now. There's a Tremnant that does this without that 60 scaling and a little bit less energy. So, all right, knockdown. Wait, he may he may I mean, he may proclaim the night, and I won't be able to play any items. The item block is in. It's like, aha, you should have played some items. So, Mr. Pooh Spencer already played a Sycamore. I don't think he can do that. He's looking for a DCE right now. And it's a bit of a slow start for us. Top deck incoming. Yeah. So, let's see what we lose so far. Nothing that, nothing too bad. We kind of don't want to lose this here. He's got an energy. And luckily, that down block didn't kick in. It would be annoying, for sure. And I wouldn't be able to get this up right now. So, so I really don't want to lose this. I may Lily then. This is gonna give me so few. This is gonna give me so few cards. I'd rather end, you know, help both of us out. Not intentionally, but yeah, Lily. No, oh, no, I'm gonna end. Here we go. End, end everything up. Woo! Bad. Okay. Lily. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, so slow. Slowly, I have tons of I trainers in my hand. This is bad if he gets this up. Uh, he can't use a rare candy to get it up, though. But, you know, one of them is going. Uh, let's see. You proclaim the night. He can hurt this banana mask pretty bad, but, but maybe not to get. I forgot what the knockdown did, but knockdown was pretty strong. It, like, does a lot of damage for as many items. Wait, this is another knockdown. Something's not wrong. What does this knockdown do? Night Raid. He looks at my hand and he discards something. Or I'm asleep. So I have no Pokemons. It's just a straight 70 damage. Professor Sycamore. Alright, hopefully this end is nice to me. He's looking for a tour approval. Night Raid, 70 damage. Oh! Okay, I'm alive! I'm not sleeping. All right, man. And again, he's got so many cards in his hand. Let's go ahead and shuffle that stuff up. We got Ivysaur. We got Bulbasaur. This is looking nice. There we go. B drills up. 
Ivysaur, we need Bulbasaur number two. All right, can't play anything else. Don't really need the choice band them right now. Yeah, let's save that for later. Sorry, Banana Master, you have to, uh, we'll get you back later. So right now we just need that Venusaur up. We can poison uh, that Noctowl. And right now there's just not many that many cards in my hands. But there are two trainers. And Banana Master, for Banana Master's case, he's going down. Bye, Banana Master. He's gone. He's gone, guys. Uh, why well, live with the Night Scan or something else? It is gonna be Wally. So Wally's. Wally's gonna straight evolve that Pokemon out. And Ultra Ball, so he can. Did he, what, did he, what did you discard? Alright, Knocked Out Break is there. So this is probably for something else then. Knocked Out Break. I only have. I have a very small hand. So it doesn't matter. Banana Master's gone. He's dead. And I, I haven't seen Wally just. So two, two of them are up. Okay. This Arbitrio should be up. Probably. We're gonna try a Sycamore. Lose a lose a spear link, unfortunately, but there's not much I can do about that. Oh those now knockdowns are recycled back up. Breaks. So 130 hit points. Night raid! Oh he found a oh he's gonna find that card and oh my gosh, I needed that Lele. So Ay, ay, ay. You got a free retreat. Get out there. <laughs> All right, so we don't have our, our stuff. We better feel blower. Yeah, we're going to be uh, waiting for the next draw supporter. He's like, woo! Hazard Stinger, take this! Expensive version! There we go. I lose two energies instead of one. Most of my energy uh, stuff are still in my deck. Now my draw support is kind of slim right here. I do, I did lose these two, which is bad, but they're somewhere, they're somewhere. All your draws got in one attack. Oh, yeah, man, that's been sucks. But I'm kind of rooting for him. So, uh-oh. Yeah, I can bring out the Ivysaur, that would sting. Yeah, I would have no retreat right now, and then, you know what? I, uh, bro, I can set up the other Ivysaur, but it's just gonna take me some time. Ivysaur. Drumpa! Drumpa has his GX attack. He might just pop it up right now. It's like, I need more cards. Yep, and he's got a weakened Pokemon in the back, so it can sting me pretty hard. And I... I'm gonna have to deal with that one... Well, That's a lot of cards, man. That's a lot of cards. All oh, your jaw's gone. Let's see what I got with this. Alright, I got nothing. I got nothing. He sucked all my draw away, so I have no. Uh, I've got my Sycamores there. Got my Lilies around. It blasts me for 150 damage. Free retreat. Lily, I needed you. Let's put this up right here. Here we go. Another bubble sword can go down. Nobody can attack right now. Ivy Sword, come out and help me, man. Alright, you can survive, so you can go ahead and hang up there a bit. That's all I can do for now, and they're right there. And I've lost one spear link, I believe, to the waste. So this is my very final spear link, so I can't really afford to lose that. So I have very few cards left. He can do 150 to me, which is a sting. Okay, let's see what he's got. Maybe he can uh, hit the last Ivysaur out, and I won't be able to get it up, man. I still have the rare candy it up if I can get a lot of nice, nice, good end. So he's gonna end. Wow, a lot of cards, but not the ones he needed, so. So I get six cards up. Woo! Woo, rare candy, double Ivysaurs, and more cards. Okay, so <laughs> he's looking at my hand. Night scan! 120 damage. Penny sees what what kind of hand I have. Very, very amazing hand. Of two two Venusaurs that will show up. So you don't need another energy, but that's okay. I need some more draws. I would love the max potion, but uh, I can't anymore. I need some more draws. Let's go ahead and sycamore that out. 
Yeah, it's gonna sting a bit, but I have two heavy swords up. That is okay. That was kind of a perfect hand there. Yeah, I can set up one more Beedrill. Oh, I'm gonna get the Nito's Beedrills back up. Or at least Banana Master. You know, this is definitely a good time to play this. Banana Master. Coconut Master. Energies. I'm not sure if I want Energies or another Coconut Master. I think I have enough Coconut Masters. Let's go ahead and use Hazard Stinger. Paralyze this. And hopefully if we live, then we'll Max Potion. If we don't survive, then Coconut Master has to go out to fight because our we only have three Spirit Links. And because of our little dead hand dilemma, we're doing that to do that. Okay. It's paralyzed. He's like, just give me a Guzma. Lele, Coconut Master is being charged up. He's like, I'm already fully charged up. So am I. Bam, that's fast. And this, uh, this guy's not ready. So he's up. I just have to wait for the turn to end. That's it. So we're going to use Max Poacher right here. We're just going to... Uh, I think we can Skylight for another Max Potion if we want to. If we're greedy. I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold. This thing's card's already gone. Yeah, I'm going to be greedy. I'll just take that right there. So it's paralyzed. Oh! What did I pull that there? Cool! Duck dong! Okay. Just leave it be. Just leave it be. Perfect. Next top deck was be a Sycamore. Yeah, it went from a bad hand and turned out turned around pretty quickly, didn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so focusing on the match back right here, we see the knockdown break comes out. He's like, you're definitely holding a lot of trainers. Yes, I am holding a lot of trainers. I would say that's a lot, lot, but it's a it's a decent amount. And yeah, I had some nice stuff there. So I maybe get it back. I may not get it back. Wow, that's nice. That's nice stuff, new stuff in my hand. But not enough trainers. He might do night scan, he may not. That guy, that 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 hypnoblast, that night raid is kinda kinda strong, isn't it? Yeah. So we're basically gonna go with a super coconut masters to fight after this, cause. Alright, choice man on that. Be able to one-shot cho coconut master. Kinda sucks. It's okay. Hypnoblast. Gonna go for the sleep. I'm awake! Yay! That's that's pretty terrible luck. Alright, we're gonna use Hazard Stinger then. This thing's already poisoned. i oh, weakened, so I should be able to finish it off. Like, at the end of the turn? But I'm weakened up. But that means the Drompa's gonna get me. He knows that. I think I... Yeah! It's, no, no! Drompa can get me! He knows... But he knows what he's doing. Hang on. There's no weakened Pokemon. Oh, there's not. Otherwise, the Berserk Drompa will be able to snatch me up. Okay. Okay. Is that a good aiming point? 50 boosters? Oh. I'm not following that one. 50 boosters a lot. Ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So I hope you get the... I think it's easier to get your cards directly, both in the real and and and, and the game, like buying it directly. So, I have no energies. Coconut Master is coming out to fight. He needs, he just needs a wounded Pokemon to activate this condition and finish me off. So, 40 damage right there. We're gonna max potion. Use our final max potion move. Heal it up. Start spending our paralysis move. And that, now if he can Guzma, he can uh, land a big KO on something like, like probably my Coconut Master right there. That's gonna be probably the deal move I would make. Okay, turn ends. I still need to do a little bit of damage. Go ahead and retreat and fight with this guy instead. Put this energy on you. I want to use energy drive. Finish that off right there. Lee expose my coconut master, but don't. I don't really want to pay it up an energy to attack. I really don't want to pay it up an energy. So I'd rather send this card out, which has a lot of energies in it. Unfortunately, they do not stack. If you're wondering, 
No, jungle tunnel, two jungle tunnels do not count. Get the blower! Not the blower. All right, retreating up. I think he's he's only has three cards left in his deck. He's gonna attack Psychic. Oh, oh, that was a little. I had too many energies on me with the choice man. Oh, it's like uh, you, you like you underestimated me. You set that out card out. I'm gonna finish you off with that. Okay. I think I have the Guzmas. Let's get a B-Draw because I know I have one more Spear Link and I may need it to fight. We need some draw, so with the discard, you know, you didn't need those cards. Except the Full Zone you kind of did. Alright, nobody has a free retreat right now, so we can't get a Guzma up. I don't know if I have energies left to attack, do I? Well, they're in your deck, but I wouldn't say, uh... Alright, let's use Hatterson Stinger. Should be able to finish this off, this is a threat. Now, if he has a Guzma, he wins. And I will be proud of you. If you have a Guzma, you would win the dead match because of that. Super odd. Because of the Berserk would be able to one-shot my Coconut Master and my Beedrill. So recycling those cards back there. Energy's going to have knocked out. And that's I take a prize card. No. No. I'll take an energy. Ultra Ball. Not what I needed. All right, so we need an energy card to fight. Oh my, there it is. All right, I don't need these cards right here. I haven't won just yet, so I still want to pull some cards just in case I need them. That's why I'm discarding my junk and giving giving me a big, nice, big boost hand. Yeah, let's get these out of the discard right now. So if they get shuffled back, that's fine. Here we go. We're gonna use Hazard Stinger. Take this. All right, now, once again, if he draws a Guzma, he wins. If you draw a Guzma, he's like, just give me the Guzma so I can blow up this Beedrill. DCE. I think that's, no, he evolves it. He undoes it. He's like, give me the Guzma. Maybe he puts it to sleep. Ah, where the Guzmas? He's <laughs> Sycamore. Deck it out because he knows. Oh. There's a Guzma in the prize card right there because that's all. Oh, he. Mr. Buddha Spencer could. Oh. I, I, oh, man. Oh. Night Scan. It's like. Oh, 120 damage, only two, two traders. So. We're gonna end this right here. We're gonna use Hazard Stinger, get our last prize guards. There we go, poison and burns out. Good game, Mr. Buddha Spencer. Man, he was just waiting for that one card. And this knockdown deck was like, oh, Beedrill, I'm gonna get you, Bug. Oh, ah, oh. good game, good game. Well, looks like you reached the end. Thank you. Congratulations. It is time we rate this deck. So, Mega Beedrill Venusaur. What is your unique trait, Mega Beedrill? Well, it is your paralysis law. You'll always paralyze and you do a lot of damage to boot. And that's kind of hard to deal with without using lots of trainers, stuff, and you also have max potion to deal with that. But your unique trait is that permanent paralysis that you can get out there. All right, that is a five out of five. Paralysis is crazy, is the best status effect, and you also get the point. Let's just go with paralysis. Five out of five. Paralysis lock. Finish it off. We'll talk about the rest of the next stuff. Damage. Three out of five. Ow, Donald, that's kind of low. What's up with that? You're not getting a one shot with the stack. Your opponent always has a chance to use one of their trainers, their switch, their guzmas to counter this. There's no one shots. You can fix that in a bit, but for now, this deck is a three out of five. A four out of five would be, yeah, I got a one shot somewhere. A five out of five, you should be spamming one shot kills on big GXs, so that's where it is. Setup is a 3.5 out of five. Why is that? Because I need to set up a Venusaur, and I also did not set up a Beedrill, which would be easier if I didn't have to use a Spear Link. So it's kind of set up like 
setting up two stage twos, kinda. I get a little bit of leeway because I don't have to wait a turn if I get the you know spirit link on time. So that's a little bit of leeway there. I may get rare candies out to get out this Venusaur really, really quickly. Either way, there is a bit of a wait time getting up. Hopefully your opponent isn't really fast and destroys you, you know, in this little hole that you have. Otherwise, it's pretty good. So, defense, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5. Force, normal, average. This is above average because you're using max potions. You can heal your Beedrills up to full, and they're pretty tanky. They have 200 hit points, so oh, boom, yeah. You actually have over two, over, yeah, more than six prize mitigation or above average defense compared to other decks because of max potion healing. Moving on, rating. I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5. Really? Oh, that's all? It's got infinite paralysis. I like reliability. I don't like its setup. However, the payoff is quite good. I like that. And it also really depends on my opponent. If my opponent has ways to get it out of Hazard Stinger, I don't really, not really doing that much. They also have to be doing a lot of damage. However, I only have two max potions. So, given my training power, it really depends how my opponent can handle paralysis. Yeah, if I'm going against, you know, towards uh, London deck, he's got lots of Acerolas, lots of ways around this. So it wouldn't be as effective. It just depends how your opponent can, you know, get around the paralysis. If they can't, yay! If they can, oh, And that's why it's a 4.5 out of 5. Alright, so a lot of... Just, yeah, it's conditional. Weakness! Status removal, easy. If you can get through paralysis or immune to paralysis, have tons of switches, uh, this deck isn't as good. So, upgrades. We need another attacker. Unfortunately, I'm using 19 Pokemons already. Mainly to make this Venusaur effective, so you can find space. I would add in maybe, say, Faramosa. You could just get one energy. Get this GX out there. 200 damage when you're about to lose. Hey, but it's 200 damage. You can get a one-shot, and you can upgrade that little damage right there to a 4 out of 5, I suppose. Maybe Genesect. The thing about Genesect is it needs... It's hungry for energies, and... I'm not sure if I can get it up quickly. So where's Genesect? The right Genesect. Alright, the right Genesect is right here, where if you get three energies, you can get a lot of damage, but you still need the choice, man. So, I like the Genesect as well. Maybe Pheromosa, maybe not. Maybe this is all you need. You don't need that Pheromosa GX attack. Or maybe you want that 200 damage somewhere. Yeah! Good luck finding what's... Oh, well. That's up for you to change. So, upgrades. This is my base templates. I'm kind of happy with it. Give them some ways for you to maybe find a way to uh, improve the deck. So... That is about that. What is up for next time, Donald? Well, Venusaur is improving more than just uh, Beedrill. We're looking back at the other grass stuff. We also see that it improves its Mega version. Mega Venusaur. It has two Mega versions, but of course the cooler version is this one. Crisis Vine always paralyzes. Just like Beedrill. A lot more expensive to do, but hey, with the new Venusaur, that's not a problem. So, you're going to see another Infinite Paralysis deck. A little done a little bit differently. Okay, so that is it for next time. Thank you very much, Integrals and Differentials. Can I wrap this up? Please like, subscribe. Because you know it helps us YouTubers out. And appreciate it, man. Thank you. So, uh, follow me on social media. I'll give you hints when new things are coming out. Yeah. You're right, Donald. Okay, so I'm on Discord. Here's the Discord link right above my head. Check it out. Ch chat with, uh, basically, yeah, if we're on stream, we hang out right over there. Uh, Rebix can be found on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you like to stream your music. They're there. New ones are coming February, and, uh, we added, updated recently in November. Last November. Last month. Okay, uh, next video is tomorrow. Yep, I'm not sick anymore, so i have to get to that. I have other secret YouTube channels, too, which I'll update really soon. I'm starting back the vlogs. I'm going to start a new uh, playthrough of a cool game that I that looks interesting. I like uh, RPGs. Japanese RPGs, good story, good music. I like the style. I like playing, uh, let's see, what's it called? Blade something. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. I just have a brain freeze right now. Xenoblade Chronicles. Yeah. Did never play that. Never played number one, too, but uh, it's okay. It's, it's good. 
It's gonna be good. So that is up for that's all I want to say for now. Thank you, Unicorn Rose Franchos. Take it easy. You guys have a good one. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time for Mega Venusaur tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye.